Hey guys, this week it's Awesome Cast 104, and it's E3 time. We see if Nintendo has what it takes to dig out of their hole. Uh, what is the Wonder Book, and is Smart Glass all it's going to be cut out to be? All this and more on Awesome Cast coming up. I'm getting awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Awesome Cast 104. It's E3 time, so crap, we've been doing this for at least two years now. Yeah. Wow. I know. I'm the uh, guy behind the boards here in our studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Sorg, Michael Sorg. I, I'm not, I, I usually don't. What's my Are you name? having a stroke? I what's think you're my having name? a stroke. What's my, I usually don't. I don't uh, pronounce myself, and everybody else calls me Sorg. And I don't, you don't pronounce yourself? I don't pronounce myself. No. You don't exactly. introduce yourself. I yeah, don't introduce good. myself, yeah. basically. I'm, I'm the least important one here. Uh, but the more important one, so much that people are gunning for him, as uh, we'll learn about later, uh, Chachi of InsertCoinToBegin.com is on the couch. What's up? I'm watching you. you watching me? No. I oh, that, all the rest of you. I, be aware. I got my eyes on you, people. Be, be aware. Be aware. Also with us over the Skype lines, he's back. I don't know if he has beads, though. Uh, no Rob, beads. Rob De La Creta is beadless, back from beadless. New Orleans. And slightly off-center in frame. There so we go. How did the, how did the Hadron Collider uh, with duct tape uh, situation go for you? Oh, it went pretty well. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't hear about Louisiana being destroyed in a large explosion, so I assumed everything went okay. Yeah, I mean, really, that was <laughs> that was my way of saying that I had shipped a large crate to Louisiana, and uh, there may have been a cable inside that crate. And see these crates, they have, they have like grates on the bottom of them. And um, sometimes things fall through those holes. You know, they're useful in some aspects and not so useful if a cable might come untied and then a connector might get caught under said crate. And then a forklift comes along, and, cool. and then you just got to replace the little RCA double barrel, and then everything works. So, yeah. So you duct tape the crates. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, uh, New Orleans was, uh, you know, full of alcohol and food and absinthe and uh, bourbon. And um, uh, I don't think I saw a single naked lady while I was there, come to think of it. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's disappointing. So an uneventful trip uh, in the long run. Yeah, pretty much uneventful. <laughs> really hot, uh, yeah. rained for five minutes, and uneventful. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, guys, you, this, is, this is the awesome cast where we like to talk and banter. We and, talk about tech. And shoot some wit about technology. Shoot some wit. Shoot some wit. Rob tells us we're wrong. We move on. Exactly. Chachi gets, and then we're going to talk about E3 the whole time, and then so Chachi you're always gets, wrong. No, I put a Foursquare story in there just for you, Rob. Oh, just for me. Just Great. For you, <laughs> just for you. And I'm sure we can talk about WWDC for next week. I'm nixing, news... I'm nixing one of these stories. <laughs> okay. I just want you to know, right now, <laughs> like, I just read the notes for the Is first time. Is it the time. one that says, this one's for Chachi? Uh, I know. I obviously didn't make it that far. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, well, well. It, it's the one that, uh... Actually, I don't see one that says this one's for Chachi. It says for Chachi by it. All right. Well, oh, yeah, it uh, is that is one. one for Chachi. That's the one I'm nixing. All right. All right. Done. We'll do that. All right. No <laughs> problem. No problem. But hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, hey, Mike. Yeah. Am I Sorry. still visible to you? Yes, you are. Okay. Just checking because I just got a big blue box for you. Actually, I, I see this. Let's move That's on to weird. that now. No, what does It not? would take two Why? seconds. Okay. What, what, wait, wait. We have to tell the people they can find us at awesomecast.com. Oh, I thought and we were done with that. I didn't even start that. I thought we were done with that. I was telling people what we do. Oh. We. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Can, uh, last you, I checked, do, we were botanists <laughs> discovering the field of Donza. <laughs> yes. Continue, Sorgatron. Chachi, what do I'm we do sorry. Here? Uh, we get together and we make witty quips about tech. That was way better than how I put it. Uh, but you can find out more about us at awesomecast.com or drop us an email that was to contact horrible, at horrible awesomecast.com. We make us, witty quips. Twitter us at awesomecast. I don't think they've shut that down yet. Um, also, follow us on Google Plus, where when it's working, sorry, I had a problem this week. Uh, the Google Plus, you can hang out with us and also on the Facebook <sighs> as well. So let's get right into it. E3. Chachi. E3 is the biggest uh, thing of the year for gamers. Yes. And, well, Essentially. Really tech enthusiasts, because there's some interesting stuff coming out of it. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it just so happens that it, it, it's 
pointed at gamers. That's the part that a lot of people focus on. But the tech stuff comes from a lot of gaming companies and others. It's electro it's it's electronic entertainment expo, if you didn't know that, and you probably shouldn't be listening to the show if you No, didn't they're know here that. to learn that kind of stuff, Chachi. That's okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Be keep, nice. Keep listening be to nice the show. To the please. Noobs. Um but uh yeah, a lot of focus is on video games. And uh video game equipment. Okay. So what do you want to start with here? Um well all the major companies uh, do press conferences, and it's kind of like their keynotes that Apple does, mm-hmm. um, where they they make out make uh, points of what they're planning on releasing or what's in works. Mm-hmm. Um, let me go ahead and nix the story right now. Um, what company is that? I don't even know what company it is. Uh, South Park game. Mm-hmm. Here, let me let me do a little work for you. Mm-hmm. Um, if they make a video game about South Park, it's gonna suck. Moving on. That's all you need to know and about it. There you go. Well, this one is interesting. It looks like it's gonna be like kind of M- not MMO esque. It's gonna be. Or it's gonna be I, I don't know. They had they have the South Park guys on stage. It's gonna be terrible. That makes it important, right? We no. didn't see the South Park guys when we we were at New York Comic Con last year. That's because they they are, had already accepted that that game was going to be terrible. Oh, okay, they already resigned to it. Yes. Okay. All right. They, so, they still have I mean, high hopes for this game. A little bit of background. Chachi, Chachi had an interview at... at uh, New York I Park insulted Park. Ocean. Yes, he's, he's there with the developers and the heads of South Park Studios. Not Matt and Trey, but like the like business head of... And says, so is this game going to suck like the rest of them? Yeah, that was my first question. Yeah, that was his first question. <sighs> it's hard-hitting journalism. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> Um, but, but the, I think the biggest thing out of this, the, the kind of like surprise thing is obviously, uh, the wonder book. No, 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 no. Actually it's smart. It's smart glass. Xbox, uh, released smart glass. Uh, we, Achachi, we were, would you like to explain, uh, what, what exactly this is? No, we, we were just looking at it a little bit before the show here. You want me to? Ex- you You're want the me gaming to- guy. You want me to say what I said upstairs? Because I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> okay, let's not say that. Well, basically, <laughs> well, and basically, no. It's it's an extension of your gaming, not no, not just gaming experience, but your entertainment experience uh, via the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, from the way the the very nice gentleman on stage. Um, you don't have to compliment the gentleman on stage. He did a great job. <laughs> he did a good job, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he had my attention. Mm-hmm. And it had everything to do with what he was talking about. <laughs> so what is it? Um, it? It's an extension of the entertainment system that is Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, it takes the uh, device that... And this is where they jab Apple. It, it takes the device that you already have, uh, whether it be your smartphone or your tablet device, and it allows you to connect and control or connect and enhance the experience that you're getting from your Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, they, the ones during the uh, keynote that I saw were Madden, um, Halo 4, and then uh, some video enhancements. But uh, for Madden, it went as far as using the tablet to draw up your own plays. And when we say tablet, I mean, it's not just tablets. They, they, they're saying that this is going to be cross-compatible uh, with your... Android, iOS, and Windows phones and tablets. Yes, that's what I said. I said the device that you already have. But not just Windows stuff, like you would think. Right. You know what would be really funny? What? As if this uh, was compatible with Google Glasses? (laughs) (laughs) You know, know, on a total side note, uh, after they said that Google Glasses were going to suck a little bit, I think it was like last week or something, they were like, oh, by the way, that whole interface thing, yeah, a touchpad like mounted on your pants. How do you like that? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, just there just when you thought it couldn't suck anymore, it sucks a little more. Um, <laughs> so we'll probably uh, maybe talk about this for five minutes at some point if Chachi's head doesn't explode in the meantime. <laughs> but you know, there's that whole Apple big announcement thing that's going to happen sometime this month in like fourteen days or ten days or something. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if they either finally did that thing with the iPad that everybody's waiting for them to do, which would make it a much more 
robust uh, control device for the Apple TV and or made it so that you could play apps on your Apple TV and or mm. release the TV, the actual television that has the Apple TV built into it, and or all of these things work together and kind of supersede all this glass nonsense. Um, here, here's, here, here's the problem with everything you just said, Rob. Go for it. You ready for this? Because I'm, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Okay. That's something that doesn't happen very much on this show. Good. What do you got? Okay. Every uh, reference to a tech that came out of your mouth in that last statement mm-hmm. had one thing in common, Rob. Uh, it's not an Xbox. No. <laughs> it, w- it was preceded by the word Apple. Okay. Cool. The difference between that and this glass product mm-hmm. is that it works with the devices you already have. Yeah. Right. Does it well? Does it work with uh, previous generations of Xbox 360s? Yeah. Well, basically, what it, this is going to be into the app. Uh, it, they're going to upgrade it. You know, with the fall release, I imagine the dashboard. Mm, uh, sure. They're going to have this interface, and uh-huh. uh, not only is it the, the interface for the games, uh, but they're also going to have kind of an AirPlay functionality where I could be on my Windows tablet, uh, you know, watching something I got out of their marketplace. Which, by the way, they've also rebranded all the, I think, all the video and music under Xbox. Yeah. How, how much money would you be willing to bet that based on the scattered development cycle of the millions of crappy Android devices <laughs> that the usability experience is going to suck something <laughs> expletive as a result? That's that's the only thing. But they say it will be available on Android, iOS, and, and their Windows platforms. So, I mean, at least... Well, that's not Microsoft's awesome. fault, though. No, no, it's not their fault. Well, you know, it's not Microsoft's fault, it. and Android being a crappy operating <laughs> system as a result of being spread across 800 devices isn't Google's fault either, but that doesn't mean anything. Well, they, right. they do figure this out, and it's already working on, you know, all the people that already have tablets and also have an Xbox. You just beat the pants off of Wii U. Because instead of having to buy a whole new hardware with a whole new controller... You already have, from the looks of things, if the, if the demos hold up to what they're going to do, um, you already have the extra controller. Mm-hmm. And and this looks like it's something that's just going to be an app I download from the App Store on, say, my iPad, and it's right. going to work with my Xbox when it gets the update in the fall. And Xbox is across the across the board, usually. I, I don't think there's any discrepancy with specs. No. Like, some of them operate a little bit better and faster because they have better processing, like when they did the chips or something. But they like, all get the updates. But they, Yeah, they all get the updates, and there's parity across that no matter if you're first generation if it hasn't red ringed yet. So, hmm. so I mean, that's, that's where, when they did this, it, it really just ate we use excitement in the long run. We used doing interesting stuff, but it's like if, if they if you have Madden and Halo, which are going to be the two biggest games this fall. I, False. I, what? False. What? False. He's just going to tell everybody they're wrong. Sure. Go no, on. No, Go you're on, you're wrong. I'm wrong. Oh, Why am yeah. I wrong? They're not going to be the two biggest games this year. Well, for as far as Microsoft's pushing, they're going to they're going to be among the two biggest games. That's better. Among I can accept the games that. this year. I can okay. accept that. Um, yeah, you know, for what they're pushing. Then um, I lost my thanks. <laughs> well, we were getting ahead of ourselves anyhow. Okay. Um, you started comparing it to Wii U, but we're still comparing it to Apple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, did, I think it applies uh, to all. I don't. I don't think Rob was finished. No, I mean, I, 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 I totally see where you're coming from. Where, where it's like, you know, this would be a new thing for Apple, like, unless, 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 uh, unless they talk about iOS six and they say, you know, what you're going to be able to do, you're going to be able to update your iPad and or iPhone, and you're going to be able to update your Apple TV, and it's all going to work. I, I don't, I don't expect that out. Of WWE yeah, I wouldn't series. expect that either. That I don't, would be quite I, a, I don't think they're, they're really into that. I mean, we kind of speculated the hell out of that last year. I, well, the, everybody, did, the industry did. T- tell you what, tell you what, I mm. expect that to happen as much as I expect um, Xbox Smart Glass to actually work more than sixty percent of the time. Okay, okay. I bet you, yeah. it, it, I bet it'll work pretty okay on the iOS and the uh, Windows stuff. But it'll be choppy oh. as all hell on Android. Oh no! Screw that. Hmm. I have an iPhone. Yeah. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm not installing that crap on my Android. Yeah, but how many? No, no, no. You gotta think. Okay, <laughs> you are not the normal person. Okay, you have an Android and an iPhone. You need to think about all those people on Cricket that now can get an iPhone, um, or Boost Mobile that now can also get an iPhone. Uh, but all those people before that you know had what's Android stopping devices. me from hitting you in the face right now. <laughs> 
a desk. I, I think what you're going to end up with. A couch, a desk, and some computers. I got plenty of heavy, <laughs> heavy monitors lying around here. Um, but, you know, this they're probably going to be across the board. By the time you get to the fall, they're going to be like, okay, if you have ice cream sandwich, you can run this. Yeah, and I mean, how many, like, so in are, are we going to end up in the same scenario where it's like, I've got Android device A, which mm-hmm. can run ice cream sandwich. I have Android device B, which can't. And then they're going to be like, well, we're going to roll out smart glass for ice cream sandwich, and the rest of you are screwed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I, because be. that's just the way it goes. And then you end up with, like, one out of 50 random Android devices that doesn't have the right, like, control interface or battery power or something or something to make the whole experience miserable. I'm just, I mean... You know, this is all hy- hypothesis. This is all but, speculations. Uh, but but when, if, when was the last time you picked up something developed by Microsoft for a mobile platform and said, "You know what? This just works." <laughs> you know, I gotta say, the Xbox Live app for the iPhone is yeah. pretty damn nice, and I think that was the first step when I saw that come down. I'm like, they're going to do something else with this. Mm. Um, and, and well, to kind of close out this thing, like, not only are they doing that, they're showing uh, games of Thro- Game of Thrones on on HBO Go. You can watch, yeah, and it'll bring over on your application. You can follow on the map of whatever that world is that Game of Thrones takes place. And I've only seen one episode, um, and they you will they will follow where the action is on the tablet as you're watching the show. Getting more information as you're watching, like I think they showed Sherlock Holmes, which they did kind of an airplay thing and threw it up to the Xbox. Controlling the Xbox with your phone and with the with the tablet, um, they're bringing Internet Explorer to it, and the tablet and, and phone are going to be the pointer device that you use instead of a clunky controller, remote, anything like that. Hmm. That's where it's starting to get a little bit interesting. These guys, it, 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 that's where it feels like these guys beat Wii U to the punch. And these are the guys that would be able to do it because they're Microsoft. They have better resources. They know how to do cross-platform like that. And they know there's $500 I mean, million. Is it just me year. or did Wii U never really have a punch? No, it didn't. No, Well, I think the punch was the second screen. And they, they're all poised to show it off. The Rayman demo that we saw in the Ubisoft conference what looked like a blast. Uh, I think a lot of stuff in Nintendo's conference today really kind of fell flat. Um, but the second screen experience is it, it, that's the big selling point. Like where we had the motion and the and, and everything with Kinect and, and Wii previously, it's the second screen experience is what everybody else is trying to sell. Take that to Sony, who released the book. They well, they released no, 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 not even that. I'm talking about the device because we oh. talked about this a lot last night during the press conference where, you know, versus something like Microsoft is saying, you already have these devices. Let's make them work with the Xbox, the Wii. You have to get a whole new system for this kind of experience. Um, whereas Sony is, I hope you bought a Vita because that's the only way you're going to get anything close to this. And I'm sure lots of systems will, will support it. And that's the other thing is support. Yeah. Who is supporting uh, the cross play you see advertised on the Vita commercials between the PS3? Because who owns a Vita? Who owns both a PlayStation and Vita and thrown away that money that the developers will say, okay, that's a feature we need to put in? Versus, I have an iPad, but 50% of people with phones out there have smartphones. That's something that is hypothetically going to work with this thing. Um, Because, you know, that most of those are going to be the three platforms, not BlackBerry, at least. And we'll see what happens with Android. Um... It just, you know, Sony is trying to be Apple with their keeping everything in the ecosystem, but they're not that good. <laughs> it, was, it was the thing I kept coming back to. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a poetic they, way of They've it. actually said, I mean... It, so it, it, he, he was talking about this book by this American uh, doctor uh, that's entitled uh, Alone Together, uh, which explores the quote-unquote plight of uh, society with technology today. And right. or habits of twelve year old boys. Right. <laughs> Purely speculation. Um Purely speculation. But uh he, he was pointing out the fact that oftentimes you could have a few people sitting in the same room and at the same time it feels like they're completely alone because they're all paying attention to what's going on on their Yeah. Their they- their devices. And we'll come back to this because I want to prove to him that he's contradicting himself later on okay um okay but uh he said that step one was releasing the wii to help alleviate that situation bringing people together so yes. they're playing together right making it more interactive 
instead of just people sitting around watching someone else play a video game or watching a couple people play a video game. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said that the Wii U is just further extending that and better bringing people together. Now, the part where I said that he's contradicting himself is because he spent a good five minutes pointing out the fact that with the Wii U, you don't need the TV to play the game. Which means there could be multiple people in that room, some of them watching the TV, and at least one of them's playing a video game on a handheld device. And they kind of alluded to that too. I mean, there, there's the uh, the Wii Fit demo they showed where uh, they were they were doing the Wii Fit stuff together. Then one went to watch TV while the other one finished their Wii Fit stuff on the yeah. Wii U. So that controller. doesn't really fix the uh, alone together problem that <laughs> they were setting out to fix. But it's the whole idea that there's a device in front of you and you guys are interacting. I think is not if you're playing at. a game by yourself. Well, there you go. While <laughs> while, while Dad watches baseball. Yeah. Because you just put your game back on the screen. Right. Yeah. And it's like, and, and then how does that work if, if you have all these games that um, that have the interactivity with the screen, like the zombie games say, and then how do you toss that back to the screen out? I don't know. I don't think that works. I, I mean, I, there's a lot of logistical stuff. That okay. Just I had high it. hopes. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Um, after the video Sunday, I had high hopes for Nintendo's E3. Uh, presentation, mm-hmm. um, because the stuff that they were doing with the the Wii U is kind of creative and uh, could have actually done something. Um, those hopes are gone now, <laughs> because if you show up at E three and all you're doing is presenting twenty three Wii U games, well, was it just Wii U games or overall with three DS? Oh, it's probably overall. I don't care. If you're presenting 23 games, I suddenly lose interest. You know what gets me interested? Uh, if you're a Nintendo, uh, price point, are you going to undercut everybody else? Am I getting this awesome experience for $250 like I did with the Wii? No. Nope. That's why I stood in line. They lost There's... $553 million last year. You're not getting a deal. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> they had to do something. They, uh, they, they brought the 3DS down, and that started selling. Now and then they, they brought raise... it back up. Now, yeah, now they have to raise it back up, but... I have no hopes for Nintendo. You have no hopes for Nintendo? No. I'm pretty sure every time we address an announcement from Nintendo, we say that. It's getting so... It, it, they, they, they were revolutionary five years ago, and they're building on top of that, and it's not enough. Five years ago? Well, you said uh, that's when they announced the Wii five years ago. Was that five years ago? That's what, that's what Reggie said this morning. 2006. Well, six years ago, but yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Huh. How um, about that? I actually favorited a tweet uh, that conveyed my feelings exactly. Let me bring that up. Uh, Nintendo, now you're just a company I used to know. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's let's quote popular culture. Oh, jeez. Hey, it fits. Jeez. Hey. I don't know. Well, I wasn't creative enough to come up with the way I felt. I used that. Aside, you didn't just cry into a pillow and take a picture of it? No. <laughs> Aside from that, we have the Wonder Book, which is the other technolo- technological marvel that came from... Can I, can I just address the awful names that apparently are coming out of E3? <laughs> yes, it's the Wonder Book, Rob! <laughs> like Wonder Bread, you mean? No, it's... <laughs> but it's like a tablet. Basically... It's a book that's wonderful, Rob! So it's a, it's a, it's a tablet made out of bleached wheat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Also, smart class. Um, can I? Can Can anybody possibly fathom the amazing connection that somebody made between what smart class actually does and the name smart class? I think it's like Surface. Um. No. Nope. But not because no. No. Because no, you see, Surface involved a surface. <laughs> smart class is like hypothetically saying that, well, you know, all the devices have glass on them, and the glass is smart, so that means that it can communicate with your Xbox 360? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> like, like, really? So, so John's in the but, chat. John's in the chat saying he's still getting uh, 
He's still getting the, the Nintendo. Uh, let, let us know, John. Uh, why? Why is it? What's What's really got you interested? Anybody else that's like completely behind the Nintendo thing? I want to know why that is. But um, yeah, l- let me know when you come out of your coma too. <laughs> <laughs> but Rob, Rob, <laughs> if you go out, you can get a Wonder Book. I can get a Wonder Book and get exclusive, exclusive content from. Who, who, wait, so who released the Wonder Book? Sony. Okay. It, it, it it works along with the the uh, play, the PlayStation Move. Yeah, you, with the Move. You, so it, wait, it works with the Move or with the PlayStation? Both. With the Move and the, on the PlayStation. Yes. So you can't use it without the Move, but you use it with the PlayStation. I I use it with the Move on the PlayStation. <laughs> yes. Yes, with the Move on, on the, the PlayStation. PlayStation. On the PlayStation. Okay. Yeah. Isn't the Move a isn't controller. that the, the controller that looks like a microphone? Yes. Uh, lollipop. Yes. Lollipop. Does it come with a microphone, or do you have to lollipop. pre-own the microphone? I think you need to pre-own the... Uh, and I'm trying to find you some footage here that doesn't look like a BS. This is starting to sound like, you okay. know, underbody coding. But, right, I don't know if you're on the feed, but here's here's a look at it for everybody. I'm not on the video. feed. I'm not a big blue box, remember? Uh, yeah, oh, I know. I'm trying to figure that out, too. So, But, um, but this is all crap here. But, but, <laughs> but this, this is all crap. Anyhow, I haven't even said anything about the tech, and it's already the most hilarious thing I've heard. You cut me off, okay? Go for it. All right, Rob. Oh, yeah. the logo is amazing. If you buy the Wonder Book, yes. you get exclusive content, wait for it, mm-hmm. from J.K. Rowling. <laughs> exclusive <laughs> exclusive Harry Potter content? Yes. Like the Wonder Book? Yes. Um, huh. It becomes a book of spells. Okay, here's some. Oh, here's no. some and you for use you. the move controller Here we go. to cast spells. Here's the video. And you use yeah. the, oh, basically, so the move controller is like a wand. Yes. yes. And, and basically, book the book, is... the book is one of those uh, augmented reality markers, and everything moves around it. Uh wait a minute. So, like, I feel the, like I need to see what a wonder book looks like so, all of a sudden. So <laughs> the video, the video we're showing here uh, is from the J.K. Rowling spell book. Uh, uh, we're trying to sell. So and you see the kids with... in the video, and you see the wonder book. Oh my god, it's actually a book. The wonder book is like there's a superimposed <laughs> book on top of it. They're doing things it's with like the like wand, which is everything. the move. Oh, and like, and there was like things oh. where like it caught on fire, and you took your hands and wiped the cross in it. You saw your handprints and everything, and you're interacting with everything but oh, come this is on so much dumber than i thought. but come on <laughs> who's gonna do this do you, do you guys remember the uh the augmented like now we would call them augmented reality but remember the board games you could buy with the dvd yes oh. and it somehow it would like interact or whatever That's this is kind of what this is this is pretty much the exact what? same thing but like worse because it's not impressive <laughs> But this is like, like it's a QR code on a piece of fucking my, cardboard with a magic wand. My iPhone does this with the Spider-Man pictures for the movie. You know, I mean, well, okay, actually, there's a hole in the book. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Um, there's what, a hole in the book, so is, that's kind of cool. And a fireball came out. So, um, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's kids. sierra has got it. This is for kids. Uh, no, it's not. This it, is for no one. This is apparently for kids. But nobody really knows what the kids want. Um, and, and, and for kids that parents have a lot of money, they, they can buy them a PlayStation, a Move, one for each of the kids so they can both have wands. That well, like, hang, hang on, are we, are we assuming in this situation that the, the parents and the children all have a mental condition? I, I mean, it's got because to, I'm pretty sure that Sony's predisposition. That was that was the biggest thing. And all like, looking at everything Sony has, it's like Sony. Like we're, we're insulting we're our entire listener no, no, audience. Are you saying that our entire listener audience has some kind of mental condition? No, a lot of our <laughs> listening audience have PS3s. So. Well, <laughs> well, you know. Uh, but, to, but to be fair, when the PS3 first came out, it was kind of a thing, and now it's <laughs> nobody wants them, so they're relatively cheap. So that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but this is it, it just felt like some like we talked about how Nintendo is looking at social networks but not paying attention to social networks. It's like Sony's looking at technology but not paying attention to what anybody wants to do with them. I mean, they, where does the move even have a chance next to everything's a gimmick with it? There's no actually gameplay with it. At least connect. I can yell things in football and stuff happens. That is very true. Versus I'm- <laughs> what are you doing with your lollipop controller PlayStation owners? <laughs> Uh, I mean, <laughs> wait, hold on, time out. I gotta ask a question, a serious wait. question. Uh, given the shape of these uh, PlayStation Move 
fucking I, I think we were both about to make the exact same joke. Has anyone released any porn games? Probably not. I was just PS3. about to say that we can all agree that Sony took a really, like, a not just a step in the <laughs> wrong direction, but a, a gigantic leap in the wrong direction when they released a controller that looks like the Hitachi Magic Wand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, uh, I mean, to be fair, the head could be a little bigger, but... <laughs> wow. Uh... <coughs> I love episodes where we just beat on Sony for 20 minutes. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, so, that's so, what happened to these three. What else happened to you? Was there anything else? Well, there was... Uh, uh, personal issue that yeah. Chachi had uh, here. Uh, well, we were doing, we were doing, uh, you know, I think it skirted fair use, but I think we were completely in the right. We were, we were watching the feeds. Hey, we won we one playing. appeal. We won one appeal. That's right. We played with, uh, we were, we were playing with Hangout. Uh, you know, the idea was that we, we bring up the feed and, uh, and we, and we commented over it. You know, much like I've seen Twit do it. I've, I've seen other outlets do it, you know, uh, to the same effect. Uh, so we're on, and everything's doing great. We did uh, Microsoft. We did uh, EA. We got to Ubisoft. Yeah. Forty-five minutes in, I got a "Hey, stop streaming copyrighted content!" kicked me out of Hangout and said, "Don't come back with the copyrighted content." Like I got a message for it. I don't even know if it was like a custom message or anything like that. <laughs> uh, it was a my slap video, on the hand. Yeah, yeah. And my video was blocked worldwide by Ubisoft. It actually said in YouTube, but at the same time, actually, just minutes before that, the. Uh, Insert Coin TV Twitter account got suspended. Yep. This I have not seen before. Still down. Still down. Now, whereas I did the appeal process, said that we gave credit to the stream uh, through YouTube, and it said. Which we did. Which we did. For which we every did. stream. Uh, which it said match comment content, but it brought it back. Oh. It's like, okay, that, that's cool. It didn't help us when we lost half of the press conference, but right. okay. Um, we, 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 at least we know we were in the right. Um, but the Twitter, and we don't even know why they took the Twitter down. No, it, we, Twitter, Twitter not, won't talk to me. They won't talk to you. So we don't even know if it is officially related to this. No. Um, so. we got, the only communication that we've gotten from Twitter so far is a auto response email to the, uh, the support form that I filled out mm -hmm. saying that they received my, my request for help, put the information in. And that uh, if I wanted them to continue supporting or trying to fix my issue, that I had to respond to the email within two hours or they were going to close the call or the, hmm. close the ticket. That's all I've gotten from Twitter. Hmm. And we're going on 24 hours. That's a bad sound. What happened? <laughs> Sorry, don't worry about that one. That That's a fixing sound. Oh, okay. That's what <laughs> don't worry fixing about that sounds like all. in the that's world of Microsoft. Sound. It's a fixing sound. So, yeah, as a as trying to build a news video game news site and have people take us serious. Mm. Yeah, that doesn't help. No, it no that's kind of it's kind of bad timing, you might say. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's one of the biggest news weeks of the year for video gamers. Uh -huh. And I don't have a Twitter account that is connected to my website. Right. Mm. So, mm. yeah. Um, well, Ubisoft is at least guaranteed another $60 from me yeah, <laughs> this yeah, year. Yeah. Um, I'm not very happy with them right now. Well, I, and to be fair, it's not like we can blame the entire Ubisoft. It's whoever they have on their piracy, uh, you know, copyright, you know, Nazi people. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's all algorithms. And yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's not like an actual person read your feed and said no. It was a robot read your feed and said no. So yeah. Well, it could maybe on the Twitter side, maybe it was. Um, yeah. But most likely. I, mean, I know what it was. It was, of, the, it was the nipples. It was the nipples. It was the nipple post that ten thousand other people put. Yeah, Wait, yeah. what What are we talking about? Uh, uh, there was a, a Far Cry Three had a very nipple laden uh, trailer. Uh, okay. It was gameplay footage, and there was uh -huh. like a, a native, and but she had paint over the nipples. But there was a lot of nipples, and we made a comment about the nipples. But I don't think that's it. I think it's because no, it, that's that's not it. No, no, there's, it, it's because you linked to something that was deemed to be a copyright violation. I think. Yeah, there, there, there's no limits yeah. for porn on Twitter. You can no, say all no. the offensive stuff you want. 
yeah, as no. long as it's not like blatant racism, you can pretty much stay whatever you want. I mean, all, yeah, I, all I that needed just... to happen was somebody that's the watchdog for Ubisoft at the time had to just follow the E3 tag, which we were using, find something that linked to a stream that wasn't somebody that was was one of their providers, even though it does fall under fairly useful, what we do, but by the interpretation <laughs> we understand, uh, which we won YouTube for that, um, then, and they pulled the trigger on it. Like I was telling you before, the, the policies on this is shoot first, ask questions later. It doesn't yeah. help when you're a news outlet. Yeah, I and know. People like Twit and other other groups that are putting stuff on YouTube are running into this stuff all the time. So still not right though. No, it's not right. But that's the system we have, and that's a DMCA, and and that's a whole other discussion which you've touched on here mm-hmm. a number of times. But now we are victimized by it, yeah. and so now we will push forward. I can see the mentions. For the Twitter account, though, I just want to put that out. There. That is, yeah, because yeah, you set that up with the Hootsuite. Like for me, at least, I don't know. What, you guys... No, on the website, you can you can go in, refresh I mean, the mentions, what, do a search. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, the at in free at insert TV is uh, has been going pretty hot on on uh, Twitter yeah. the last twenty four hours. So, so hopefully, maybe you'll finally get something. I think it'll get restored. I, 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 we I think... need to make money so we can hire an attorney. Yes, or find an attorney that will represent us. For free. Because he likes video games. Yes. Well, the thing is, even if you had an attorney, you're not going to get a fast response from No, you're not. No, you're not. You're That's not. how it goes. You're you need it. millions on millions of dollars to get a quick response from Twitter. Yeah. You need to be Ubisoft. Exactly. <laughs> or something on that level. When Ubisoft calls Twitter's personal line because they have it. Yeah, remember remember when you called the phone number and he called the phone number, guys? Uh, yeah, I called the phone number. If you're number. a business, press one. Yeah. Notice the cops were two. <laughs> Yeah, if you're a business, press one. If you need to talk to us about legal, press two. Yeah, exactly. All right, Every, was there anything else? Everything else is directed to a <laughs> website. Is there anything else we want to touch on here, guys? Hey, T-Mobile, screw you. <laughs> Why are you angry at T-Mobile, Shot? Well, uh, let's see. Cricket. Cricket. We all know Cricket. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Boost Mobile. Yeah. Yeah, we all know that. Uh, Virgin Mobile. Yeah. Hey, guess what those three companies have in common? Hmm. What's that, Chuck? They're prepaid. Yeah. And they're all getting the iPhone! Yep. Guess what T-Mobile's not getting? Yeah, the iPhone. The iPhone. iPhone. Guess what I was told when I added at T-Mobile on Twitter? Hmm. Try the Galaxy S2. It's just, the, it's, it's rated better. By who? I have no idea. They wouldn't tell me that. By but the same people. people who are buying the the book, the Wonder Book. Yeah. That, <laughs> yep. Is that who they pull? Same tell, people. Them, tell them you got a Wonder Book with their name on it next time. Oh, the man. crowd of people raising their Hitachi magic wands in the air and having a <laughs> Wonder Book in the other hand, playing a wonderful game of Dragon's Gate on a TV with a DVD player. Wow. <laughs> painted a wow. lovely picture right, here. Well, those know, are the people actually, that are buying like, this since thing. the hangout kind of died on us some technical issues we're working on it of course uh, from the <laughs> chat room uh, Fuzzwad says Google Battle Vision it's a G.I. Joe base with the video and vision sensor uh, you play the game along with the VHS wow that's right that's, that's right that's more compelling than the Wonder Book uh, John says, Juggalo John says he will never get a PlayStation. There isn't a game on PS3 that makes me want to get it. Uh, but well, yeah, Fuzzwatch says the game p- based in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I, and I had this discussion. I, you, there will be, I think there's a number of us that will pick up PS3 in a yard sale five years from now or whenever so we can play stuff like Uncharted, Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, the, uh, is it no one? No one be left behind. I keep forgetting the name. It's not. Hey, hey, hey. I just had a, I just had a brain thought. Um, oh, oh. As opposed to an out of brain thought. So the um, Last of Us. Sorry. Back to the Wonder Book. So <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so the Wonder Book, uh, I'm looking at pictures of the Wonder Book. Literally like a printed QR code, right? Basically, it's not a QR code, but it's basically a printed thing in a book, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, did they say how much they're gonna charge for this they thing? They did not say but Because we- if they don't give it away <laughs> <laughs> well, it is because because so can I let's, just um, print this thing out the day that comes out I can guarantee there will be a downloadable PDF where you can just print out everything and not have to buy the stupid book and just wrap it around 
Not even, just like printed out, lay it on the floor, man. There's no difference. Yeah. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, I think I just noticed something. Now, now I got the pictures up here. I know you can't see this problem. But this is actually a book, as in there are pages. The symbols yeah. are actually different. Here, I'll go to a different one if you're on video. And there are different symbols. And I guess they do different stuff in the game. Right, yeah. So, it, like what I'm saying, it is hell? like a bound book. So, like, you turn to page 12 and 11 and 12, so this thing will happen. Uh-huh. That is so weird. It's even, yeah, like, it just gets worse and worse. Like, oh, here's an idea. <laughs> I'm going to blow your mind. You ready for this? So, hypothetically, you have... It's a, a book! Kindle, you have a Kindle, or you have an iPad, or something. You just download the PDF, stick it on your iPad, set your iPad on the floor, you're done. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm already You kidding. know what? It works with your existing devices. I just <laughs> made it better. You just made it, like... Xbox's thing. I, it's like the the uh, the uh, I don't know if you guys played with it. You can download an app for I know it's for iPhone, probably Android as well for Amazing Spider-Man movie coming out. And then there's these pictures on their website. I was pulling it up on my iPad, and again, kind of like what you're saying with this Wonder Book. And the whole idea is you 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 know you get you you get the image, and it, you can shoot webs at it, or you'll see Spider-Man fighting, and you can kind of hit a button to react and take a picture with it and everything. That's this. You know, but less complicated. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Hit things. So angry. So angry. Mind blowing. Thanks, guys. Wow. There's actually a link to the Battle Vision 1994 Tiger Electronics. Oh, man. I need to pull this up. Let, let's wrap. <laughs> let's wrap it. Let's wrap, let's before, wrap it. So, before uh, our minds collectively right, we're explode. Get, we're going to see what the gamers want to uh, <sighs> say about E3 and Let's Play Episode 1 coming up after this if you're joining us live. Uh, last thoughts on... Uh, we, we, well, there's WWDC next week. We, we mentioned a little bit about that. It's all speculation at this yes. point. Yes. I feel better going into WWDC this week. Okay. Because or this coming week because we just spent this entire episode talking about video games. Mm. Also, I spend more time with Apple devices. Yes. So okay. now I'm not as bored next week when you guys are discussing all the neat and wonderful things that Apple wants to do. You're gonna have to watch the keynote like 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 the faithful do. Now. Hey, don't take it. That it's far. actually. Kind of worth the watch. I will you know, bring up the cliff notes. And there was a I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be watching. Are, is there any word about a stream of that? There's business? never a stream for this. There's never a stream. Although I was, uh, AJ had mentioned maybe we should do like we did for the press conferences for WWDC, but I don't know anybody else that's going to be available during the day that will want to cover that. So yeah, I mean, I maybe we will. Otherwise, it'd be just me sitting here talking to myself. I guess they, they had like they did. It was it, maybe it was the last one or the one before. They did do a live stream. Not the very last one. I think no, yeah, but the, like the one before it or something like that. But um, yeah, I, yeah. at one yeah. time they did. It's it's usually not WWDC. I don't think. But, yeah, it's probably one of those. Yeah. Anyway, so I mean, we'll see. There's there's still the live blogs and and processing that information as it comes in, getting first reactions. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do an awesome cast special for that. Uh, if I can round some people up, if you are interested in that and free, is that Monday at noon or one o'clock or something probably. Uh, it is. Give me one say. It is in five days, seventeen hours, and two minutes. Do the Somebody math. process that. Um, so we'll see. Keep I'm it, not working keep Monday. An eye out for the. You're maybe, not working Monday. Maybe I'll join you in the hangout. Oh, there we go. We're not doing hangout again. No, <laughs> no, we're okay. not doing with that again. <laughs> not for this kind of thing. Uh, so there you go, uh, guys. Uh, that I took was, a few days off work. That was E3. Holy crap! Yeah. <laughs> Rob. He's at robjdlc.com. Same thing on Twitter. Insert to begin.com. Insert to Sorry. begin.com. I should probably register that Twitter account. Huh? I'm going to hurt you. Yeah, now you better. Yeah, right? <laughs> back from well, New Orleans. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm doing all this <laughs> fun more stuff going on. More stuff that I, I can't really talk about <laughs> secret super secrety stuff hey there's the a, awesome uh, thing is that like i'm literally sitting 10 feet from something amazing that i cannot say a word about <laughs> i can see it's right there but oh, i can't see anything about meanwhile, but meanwhile i have a picture of the battle vision playset with vhs on the screen for the video people oh jeez um, thanks for that chat room but this weekend google it you know what this weekend is what's this weekend rob this weekend is the MS-150, Michael. Woo, the MS-150! Yay! It's uh, 150 miles on my bicycle. Nice. Uh, nice. To help out those people with the uh, multiple sclerosis. 
And if you want to know more about that, you can go to bikems.rodjdlc.com. You can donate. You can share information. You can learn about it. You can ride yourself. You can go nuts. In other news, I bought a motorcycle. Whoa! Yeah. Wait, what? You can get around the house. So what is it? <laughs> so I can around, 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 the house. <laughs> around, the, around the city now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean to say city and you I accidentally meant to said say house? City and, and I said house. That's, did you? That's uh, what'd you get? What? Uh, what did I get? Yeah, it was a 1985 uh, Honda Nighthawk 450. Ooh, it has a fancy name. It is. It is a very fancy name. It's got 8,000 miles on it, and it looks like it just rolled off the lot. It's brand new. It's been garage kept in its entire life. Wow. Man, it's very fancy, so I'm super excited about that. But right now, it has a dead battery. But I have to ride my bike all week to train for the MS-150 anyway. <laughs> so it works out. Chachi, insert coin yes. to begin.com, all kinds of stuff. You guys are going to be doing analysis for the rest of the week for E3, right? I guess. You can check out all the videos for what we did, what we got out in the can. I'll be uh, fighting Twitter. And you'll be fighting Twitter. Free insert coin to be. TB. Free insert go. coin TB. I'm Sorg. Check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. New episode of Unsung, number 29. Now starting And I walk. He walks. Yes, we got a wireless mic final. We got action so, shots. There you go. So check us out, AwesomeCast.com. Contact at AwesomeCast.com. Uh, Twitter at AwesomeCast. On Facebook, on Google+. Please tag this episode, hashtag AC104, so we can know you're talking about this one in particular. And uh, it's all sequential. I think you can figure out how that works from here. Uh, stay tuned live. Let's Play is coming up next from Insert Coin to Begin. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, our awesome chat room. Keeping it awesome as always. You're awesome. You are our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. I trim it and I keep it nice and neat. And apparently, are you still talking about the bonsai tree? Yes, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. We well, no, because it? anytime I tweet about trimming the bonsai tree on Twitter, oh. I, it sounds bad. Oh, this is dirty. This is all dirty. It, it, it's all very dirty. It sounds it sounds dirty when I when I say that. Trimming um, the old bonsai tree. Yeah, that's true. The girls uh, like it when you trim the bonsai tree. Exactly. Right? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Um, I mean, and I guess some. Uh, it's only it's only fair. Some seeds fell into the soil. <laughs> babies are made. And I, I got th I got three sprouted. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's <laughs> you're an asshole. I can't handle it. All uh, right. I'm having a real conversation about something that's not dirty. Uh huh. Well, no, you're not. See how that's going. <laughs> it's not. Uh, hold, you it. hold it. Hold it. Oh. Hold it. Because you keep going dirty. Get your mind out of the gutter, Sorgatron. Stop throwing your seeds all over the place. You're going to have a little tiny... You're going to have a sapling in every state at this rate. Oh, no. It's not doing that.